what is up guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a great day um, today we are going to be doing another install video we just picked up a hybrid racing adjustable short shifter um, I am pretty excited to install this because I have actually tested this shifter on my buddy Moses's uh, FK7 um, I'll leave his link to his channel down in the description but before we get into today's install, I want to give a huge shout out to all my subscribers. We actually just hit 237 subscribers, which I think it's a pretty good milestone because I was stuck at 100 for quite some time. So yeah, guys, if you guys actually enjoy this video, hit the like button and subscribe and we'll get on to this install. All right, so to get started with this install, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove this pillar, this pillar, this plastic pillar, and this one as well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna need a pry tool uh, to pull them out and these as well. So when it comes to these uh, plastic pillars, just be really cautious because they, you can damage these things really easily. So when you're um, popping them out, for example, um, start from the back, the very back, and then once you get um, the very back lifted up, just work your way up. And once you get to this last clip that's right by the infotainment system, you're gonna want to pull back don't pull up because if not you will break the clip or you can cause damages um, to the infotainment system. So the next thing you want to do is remove the shift knob. So what you're going to do is pry the shift boot collar down. Then after that you're going to want to get yourself a C wrench and hold the bolt. And when you're holding the bolt you're gonna, what you're going to want to do is spin the shift knob counterclockwise and the bolt clockwise. And like that, the shift knob comes out. And then you're gonna wanna spin the bolt out as well. Once you have done that, you would remove this Phillip head screw and this Phillip head screw. And then you're gonna wanna pop this open. And then you're gonna wanna disconnect the sport button, the parking brake and the brake hold right before you pull it completely off. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is remove the climate control unit. Once you remove it with the trim tool, there are two connectors that you're gonna to wanna to disconnect before completely disassembling it. After you remove the climate control unit, you're gonna to wanna to remove this Phillip head screw, this one, and one at the center of the shifter. Once you remove those three screws, you're going to want to put the car into an even gear to prop the center console panel off. Next you're going to want to remove the switch panel. Once you pry this off, there are two connectors that you're going to have to disconnect to get it fully disassembled.
So once you remove the switch panel, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is remove all the clips that hold the wires together. So there's three clips. There's one here, and then there's two. There's one there and one over here. In order to do this, you're gonna wanna use uh, one of these pry tools. These clips are a little bit of a pain in the butt, so just take your time. So once you remove uh, <clears throat> the clips from the center console, the next thing you want to do is clean out your uh, your inner center console. Uh, take this mat off, and then you're gonna want to get those two Phillip heads. Here's a little uh, Easter egg if you guys have SI. The next thing you're going to want to do is uh, pry the back of the center console and disconnect any connectors that are behind this plastic piece. So once you have disconnected and pried off the clip off the bottom, now you could uh, lift the center console and pull it back. Before you fully take out the center console, be sure to disconnect the USB that's in the center of the console uh, from under it. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove these two Phillip screws to remove this supporting bracket. After that, there are four 10 millimeter bolts that are connecting the shifter in, onto the car that you're gonna wanna remove. Once you remove the bolts, take out the wire clips with this pry tool. There's gonna be one right here and one right here. And one right back here. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is remove uh, this little clip right here so you can remove the shifter cable and also right here. And then you're gonna pull down to remove it off the shift lever well my camera is slowly dying so I'm gonna explain to you guys really really fast what else you need to do and then I'm just gonna do everything and then we'll get back as soon as I'm done installing everything so once you uh, remove the the clips the next thing that you're gonna want to do is remove the shift cables from the shifter and then after that, you can take out the, the shifter and replace it with the hybrid one. All right guys, so I just got done and that was a pain in the ass. Um, but the shifter feels amazing. 
I'm gonna give you guys a little clip of a before and after. So the OEM shifter and now the hybrid racing shifter. Now as you guys can see, the, the throw is a lot shorter than OEM. Uh, if you have this Honda Sport, the throw difference is about 50%, which is really, really big. Uh, for the SIs, we already come OEM with a little bit of a shorter throw, so it's gonna be about a 30% difference, which I think still is pretty significant for just a shifter. But yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe and I want to give a huge shout out to all my subscribers that have been keeping up and supporting me. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.